dream meaning of Israel, the Grim Reaper. To see Israel, the Grim Reaper in your dream signifies a person who interfere in your decisions or you have to act together with. To dream that when you see Israel, you aren't afraid of it indicates that you will have commodity, property and achievement in the world. If you are afraid of it in your dream, it means that you will continue to do with less. To escape from the Grim Reaper in your dream may represent that you will realize your own mistake and try to compensate it. If you are waiting for T.A.'s real in your dream, it means that you will be successful in your job as long as you show encouragement and indecisiveness. Alternatively, there will be a person who accepts you as long as you don't give up. To see that the Grim Reaper brings death knell in your dream indicates that you should err on the side of caution for the issues which you are worried about. Some of your doubts will happen in reality unless you are careful. To kill is real in your dream may represent that you will win out over your enemy and as you eliminate your co-partner, you will come into power by yourself. To see that his real kills a person in your dream indicates that a person whom you will make business with will attract more considerable attention than you. To speak with the Grim Reaper in your dream suggests that you will come to a mutual understanding with your enemy and you will meet people whom you don't like because of gaining interest. Alternatively, it refers to important meetings and conversations related to business. To see yourself as the Grim Reaper in your dream signifies that you will interfere with the life of your partner or person within your family. Because of this, these people will feel strange from you gradually. To see that the Grim Reaper is laughing in your dream implies that deceitful co-partner's game will destroy. A person who does something behind your back will get out of your way. To kiss is real in your dream symbolizes a person whom you go away due to health problems. If you kiss the Grim Reaper's hand, it means that you will have a short trip to get big inheritance. To greet the Grim Reaper in your dream implies that you will make your partner happy by exhibiting good behaviors. Alternatively, it denotes learning the weakness point of your enemy. If you see the Grim Reaper as human, it refers to a friend who makes self-sacrifice without your realization because s or he wants to smooth your way for a difficult job. A dream is a succession of images, ideas, emotions, and sensations that usually occur involuntarily in the mind during certain stages of sleep. The content and purpose of dreams are not fully understood though they have been a topic of scientific speculation, as well as a subject of philosophical and religious interest, throughout recorded history. Dream interpretation is the attempt at drawing meaning from dreams and searching for an underlying message. The scientific study of dreams is called onirology. Dreams mainly occur in the rapid eye movement REM stage of sleep when brain activity is high and resembles that of being awake. REM sleep is revealed by continuous movements of the eyes during sleep. At times, dreams may occur during other stages of sleep. However, these dreams tend to be much less vivid or memorable. The length of a dream can vary, they may last for a few seconds or approximately 20 to 30 minutes. People are more likely to remember the dream if they are awakened during the REM phase. The average person has 3 to 5 dreams per night, and some may have up to 7, however, most dreams are immediately or quickly forgotten. Dreams tend to last longer as the night progresses. During a full 8-hour night sleep, most dreams occur in the typical two hours of REM. Opinions about the meaning of dreams have varied and shifted through time and culture. Many endorse the Freudian theory of dreams, that dreams reveal insight into hidden desires and emotions. Other prominent theories include those suggesting that dreams assist in memory formation, 
problem solving, or simply are a product of random brain activation. The earliest recorded dreams were acquired from materials dating back approximately 5,000 years, in Mesopotamia, where they were documented on clay tablets. In the Greek and Roman periods, the people believed that dreams were direct messages from deities or deceased persons, and that they predicted the future. Some cultures practiced dream incubation with the intention of cultivating dreams that are of prophecy. Sigmund Freud, who developed the psychological discipline of psychoanalysis, wrote extensively about dream theories and their interpretations in the early 1900s. He explained dreams as manifestations of one's deepest desires and anxieties, often relating to repressed childhood memories or obsessions. Furthermore, he believed that virtually every dream topic, regardless of its content, represented the release of sexual tension. In the interpretation of dream, Freud developed a psychological technique to interpret dreams and devised a series of guidelines to understand the symbols and motifs that appear in our dreams. In modern times, dreams have been seen as a connection to the unconscious mind. They range from normal and ordinary to overly surreal and bizarre. Dreams can have varying natures, such as being frightening, exciting, magical, melancholic, adventurous, or sexual. The events in dreams are generally outside the control of the dreamer, with the exception of lucid dreaming, where the dreamer is self-aware. Dreams can at times make a creative thought occur to the person or give a sense of inspiration. Why do we dream? There are several hypotheses and concepts as to why we dream. Are dreams merely part of the sleep cycle or do they serve some other purpose? Possible explanations for why we dream include to represent unconscious desires and wishes. To interpret random signals from the brain and body during sleep. To consolidate and process information gathered during the day. To work as a form of psychotherapy. From converging evidence and new research methodologies, researchers have speculated that dreaming is offline memory reprocessing consolidates learning and memory tasks is a subsystem of the waking default network which is active during mind wandering and daydreaming dreaming could be seen as cognitive simulation of real life experiences participates in the development of cognitive capabilities is psychoanalytic dreams are highly meaningful reflections of unconscious mental functioning is a unique state of consciousness that incorporates three temporal dimensions, experience of the present, processing of the past, and preparation for the future. Provides a psychological space where overwhelming, contradictory, or highly complex notions can be brought together by the dreaming ego that would be unsettling while awake. This process serves the need for psychological balance and equilibrium. As with many things concerning the brain and unconscious thought, there is so much that remains unknown about dreaming. Dreams are difficult to study in a laboratory. As technology and new research techniques are developed, the understanding of dreams will continue to grow.